Hi, um, I'm Carla Potter. I'm a ceramic sculptor. I've been working in clay for about 30 years. Um, my show here at the Holter is called Go Figure, and it's um, kind of the culmination of work that I started about 15 years ago. Um, the artists that really set me on this path of using different artists' work in my work is this um, wonderful ceramist from uh, Seattle. His name is Jeffrey Mitchell. And this chair is kind of based loosely on his work and the work of Lily Tomlin, her comic scenes of the little girl in the big rocking chair. Um, anyway, Jeffrey made this work that I really loved. And I was like, Jeffrey, I wish I could have a piece, but I can't afford it. And he's like, ah, make your own. And um, so he had me come down to the studio and make my own piece. So that was like, kind of gave me permission <laughs> to think about using other people's work within my work to kind of create a little conversation or a dialogue. Um, and also there's a little bit of envy involved. Like I always see other people's work and I think it's amazing and I want to make work like theirs. And so this was kind of a way to dabble in making other people's work too and learning their um, styles, um, which has been really, really fun. Most of the people's work who I use in the show are people I know personally, some very well and some just brief encounters, but usually there's a sense of humor or a sense of fun in those encounters. This piece is um, called What Would Jesus Do? I think that's a fairly known, um, well-known saying that people use when they're um, trying to make a decision about what's next or how to confront a situation. Um, as a potter and when you're a pottery student, you learn how to you know, make dishes and you're super proud of when you finally get one to work and so happy. But then you come to the point of glazing and ceramic glazes. Um, when you glaze something, it doesn't look at all like what it's gonna turn out to be. So it's that quandary of uh, what would Jesus do? <laughs> so here's Jesus and I made him, I saw online this image of what Jesus probably really looked like, you know, as a Middle Eastern person as opposed to the blonde American Jesus. Also, he's on his table is this, um, the book, you know, how there's everything for dummies. Um, I have glazing for dummies, and that's kind of a tiny portrait of my glaze teacher in graduate school, this genius sort of a guy. This piece is called Doing the Holy Dishes, and it's kind of one of my first incarnations of my um, bad little Catholic girl. Um, and she is doing these dishes that are holy, and some might think of that as like a holy, you know, as in a spiritual figure or whatever, but I actually had this professor um, that said, I, we were in a critique, and I was having a hard time working fast and making a lot of pieces, and he was like, oh, he's like, just make 12, and I don't care if they're smoking, that's fine, you know? And so it just clicked this, um, light bulb on a you know a little kid being bad and trying to smoke it or smoking a cigarette but he also made this work that's perforated it's full of holes and there was often like two ends of it with you know these fit forms in each kind of container on each end and they were full of holes so I made the holy dishes were kind of you know a, a little elbow jab at um, this teacher <laughs> about him being, you know, the Holy One. Because again, he's one of these very um, highly respected professors in my field. And she um, is smoking a cigarette. So I was, <laughs> so I have since made quite a few that are smoking cigarettes and have, that one even has holy water. This piece is called The Players and it's about that game, Spin the Bottle. Um, the thing that inspired this to begin with was just the notion of different artists' work that is already in some stage of undress or has um, no clothes on, <laughs> like Michelangelo's David. I thought it would be really funny for him to come down off his pedestal and be like hanging out with his other art pals. 
um, and he's already naked, of course. Um, and then the little uh, figure next to him with the uh, blue Hawaiian beverage is based on this woman, Esther Shimazu's work. And all of her figures are very mischievous and um, always nudes. Um, they're wonderful. So those two are, are very um, flagrant and happy to be completely naked. Um, the little uh, figure in the uh, kind of US flag outfit, um, she is an artist, Garrett Grimm, who's from East Germany. And uh, I think she was 16 or 17 when the wall came down. She's very happy to come to the United States and um, pursued uh, a couple of master's degrees and uh, was a friend at the Bray and just very lively. And so for the 4th of July, she had this great pantsuit that she wore that was the American flag. This is my little Catholic girl. Um, and it kind of shows maybe that moment when she first um, takes off her communion dress and just wears her underpants from then on. She, it's like losing your body shame is the whole kind of part of that character. And she's drinking wine, of course, and that is her dress, which is kind of a character in itself. And this actually is based on the actual dress I had. The funny figure next to her with the straw hat is um, about uh, Kenzuke, um, Kenzuke Yamada, and he was at the Bray after I was, but he was quite a character. So this is kind of one of his pieces, but I dressed it up like him. And we actually had, um, at that point in time, you know, we went to Miller's Bar quite a bit. And um, so that's why he's drinking Miller beer. Um, and we had quite a few fun interactions, one of which was him making fun of my haircut. He said it looked like somebody cut around a bowl. Um, <laughs> And then the figure next to that is based on Chris Antman. She makes this gorgeous work based on figurines from a Meissen Germany factory. Um, anyway, she in this her figures are always really sexy and um, you know eating these just um, decadent meals and. Uh, sweets and everything and uh, very sexualized um, interactions with you know other males in the in the scenario but they're always um, so prim and proper in other ways in the way they're dressed but I like the idea of showing her kind of in a different situation where maybe she's had too much and she's uh, but she's also scantily dressed to begin with, so she's kind of cheating and has taken off her big fancy wig as though that was part of her, her dress. And you will see Chris Antman's work um, in, referred to in a lot of my pieces. She's a good friend. So this piece is called Moose and Rider, and it's um, somewhat based on Toulouse-Lautrec's piece of the circus rider. Um, it is my um, little Catholic girl image, and she, or character I should say, she is on the back of a moose. Um, I grew up in Alaska, and I lived in Anchorage, and we had moose like in our yard, and everywhere you went there was moose. But I also have this friend, Alana, who makes these big animals, and one of the things she would make was moose and um, it just clicked with me that it would be funny to have the girl instead of on a horse, on a moose. Um, and Alana's work, the figures, the animals will be on these wooden bases because they're kind of based on um, dioramas that you would see in museums where you only see part of the animal because they might be standing in a bog or, or whatever. So, and I also, one of the things that kind of tickled me about this is the moose is actually not moving at all, but yet her veil and her attitude and everything is about, you know, moving quickly through space. Um, so, and the moose, of course, is looking up at her just a little bit bemused. Um, anyway, it's also theatrical and I have a, a, 
a history. I took dance and studied ballet and for many, many years. So, Well, I would like to thank the Holter for offering me this opportunity to put together a nice um, comprehensive body of work with this theme. Um, and also, it's really nice to have a show up for longer than just like four weeks. Um, you can see more of my work on Instagram, Facebook. I have a website, CarlaMPotter.com. But the easiest way to see my work is to just Google me, and then you can see work from um, various stages of my career. Um, anyway, thanks for viewing this video, and I hope you get to come see it in person.